Hi, my name is Guru. This is my van, Jimmy. It's a 1992 Volkswagen Transporter. And I live in it for the summer, usually, every day, every year. So this seat folds into a bed. Um, This is my castle bed, palace. This is an inverter and you can plug in laptop and stuff like that for extended stay. Um, this is a little kitchenette I have, a little food storage, pots and pans, like unfunctional sink, and then a little cooler for refrigerated food. I have a little LED set up here that's attached to the external battery. So I have like this sort of battery that I didn't install, but the previous owner who was a rock climber like kind of installed it, which was amazing for me. But this thing turns on and this is like a little kit. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. And sometimes I'll have like a headlamp or use my phone as a light as well. Closet back here that I have clothing. Um, clothing and camera gear and stuff like that and then I have a couple underneath the bed there's actually also other storage that I can pull out so yeah so I have like a full camping setup like road trip stuff right now my tent is actually like at a site campsite but got lots of storage for have my longboard here like stove I normally have like a tent and some other stuff here Here's another storage container for stuff, so there's, there's quite a bit. Um, yeah, like I try to live minimally and like I try to like live so I don't have a, a lot of stuff so I can have most of my belongings here. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much the way to go for me. <laughs> I did a, a six, month road uh, six month backpacking trip around India and I just took this, literally this one backpack. And that really taught me to just travel light and use only what I need. Um, and it's a really good experience to do something like that. I was living in Vancouver and I just had this idea that I want to get a van and, and drive down to Patagonia um, and just like go on a giant road trip. I love the, the idea of the life of like surfing and, and rock climbing and, and sort of like living on the road and so I just wanted to have that as a part of my life or yeah like just to have the possibility of of being mobile and traveling and doing like outdoor activities so I bought it last April just just over like 13 months ago um, and since then like I I kicked it off with a road trip with my family in um, Utah and California so I bought I like bought the van and my family flew down to Utah and then we had seven of us driving around Utah's national and state parks and like doing a giant road trip and then I and that that, that was amazing um, and then I continued with my dad to California um, for another two weeks and that was amazing as well um, and then I like tripped with my my girlfriend around. California as well for another month and then stayed uh, on Vancouver Island for another couple months um, at an eco village which was really cool just like sort of camping and farming um, yeah and then I moved back into Vancouver into a house for the winter because it was a bit rainy and that's it. like so it's nice to have the mix of like freedom in the van when I want to like going on short road trips or longer road trips or like that kind of thing as well as having like another home to have more space. The work that I do is um, online like freelance sort of like creative visual stuff like um, and so that that that's really helped me that I've been I've done freelance work a lot um, like video photo website design like that kind of stuff um, so like if you have a sort of lifestyle that you don't have to have a nine-to-five job and you can still make money like that's the ideal but also like you could have let's say like I've done like quite a bit of other work that's like 
basically save up a lot in town in a city or something and then save up to buy a van and then like work half the year and travel the other half the year that's like kind of what I'm doing and it, you, you save a lot of money by living in a van and having it as like um, as a place to stay like and you don't need to camp you can just yeah what are some challenges that you that you face living in a van well if you're not camping if you're living in a city it's really hard um, to find a place to go to the bathroom unless you have a place to stay um, so I find that the best thing to do is if you know someone in the city and you can crash at their place um, and then like use their bathroom use their facilities and stuff like that living in the van is it can get a little bit claustrophobic as well sometimes if you're like yeah like if you want to do work or like that kind of stuff so it like I could I don't think I could live in it full time with the lifestyle that I do have um, so that's why I've sort of expanded expanded past just living in the van so that's I think it's a good compromise I think if you love the outdoors and you love to camp or you love sort of the idea of a tiny house or of a van or like if you've seen van life on Instagram or something like that like anything that gets you into this um, into the idea of getting it um, you could either go all the way and buy a van or you could rent it and see what happens like rent a camper van go on a road trip with your friends and see see where that takes you like that's a great idea for someone that like might not want to commit to buying a van full time but yeah whatever you can do to whatever suits you works but for me like having a van is amazing <laughs> so in 2017 um i bought the van my van jimmy and sort of for the launch of the van, we decided to do a family road trip in Utah and California. So we're both photographers and we, together we took about 10,000 photos from this trip over like a month. And we ended up making a photo book. So this this is our, our book dummy. So this is this kind of the start of uh, putting together a book. We've had various versions of it. This is uh, uh, spread from Utah. And it's divided into Utah in the first section and then California. Uh, California Point Lobos, for instance. We had a lot of conversations, a lot of father-son conversations on our trip. And so the beginning of the book is a, is a, whole, is a whole section of Good and all night chatting together about everything from how we got started in photography is we had a very, I have a very different story about my relationship to my father and how that started me in photography and then my relationship with Guru Dial and how he started in photography. So like it was sort of a coming of age experience for me on like what it means to be an adult, like establishing my identity and just sort of, yeah, being in, becoming independent. So this, this book sort of just like it's just a very precious memory of a family road trip but also a family bonding experience and an example of of what life can be like and of how yeah of how families can work together well and and bond and have like shared experiences that are precious we want to self-publish the book um, but in order to do that, we need to raise some money. So we would love to um, get your support, and we would love to just have as many people see this story as possible. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to let everybody know that I am doing an epic hitchhiking trip with the purpose of making a documentary about it from Victoria, where I am right now, to Alaska. It's about 3,000 kilometers each way, and I'm bringing people with me. I want to bring people with me that are creatives, YouTubers, Instagrammers, photographers, writers. And uh, we're going to all make our individual content, and we're going to work together on the documentary as well as some film series and 
just constant collaboration. So there's already a couple people coming with me and um, to make this film I really want to upgrade some equipment. Uh, the, the trip itself is going to cost nothing. I've hitchhiked um, for a month and a half and it cost me 250 bucks. Um, so the trip itself costs nothing, but I need to upgrade my equipment to make this a uh, real documentary. So to do so, I've created a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. Links in the description for that. Uh, there's some really, really cool perks that you can get and you can be a part of this movie just remotely even um, just through the perks and uh, through a lot of the prizes that you get on there for becoming a backer. Um, I'd love to see you on that exclusive community on Indiegogo. It's also on Patreon if that's a way that you'd rather back the movie. Uh, but let's make this happen. I'm super excited for this project and stay tuned to this channel for more updates about it as well as the weekly alternative living documentaries.